everybody. Hey, everybody. No, he's not, because Chrissy moved her hands. <laughs> <laughs> Little hummingbird. So welcome having dinner. to our fabulous, relaxing Saturday. It's been a really relaxing By day. The fall. Hasn't it? It yeah. has. It's been really nice. I feel so much better than I did yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was a really rough day, but... I'm on the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. It's all good to, to all yeah. get together today. Exactly. Exactly. So welcome everyone. We have questions, answers, and birthmarks. Yeah. So just a it's quick start. Reminder. It's autumnish, huh? It does feel like autumn is here already. I love autumn. I just don't like the cold. Yeah, me too. My old body wants warmth. <laughs> <laughs> I love that when the leaves are changing. Yeah, I love breeze. it. You would think I was born in autumn. Because you're supposed to love the season that you were born in. And I love autumn. I know. Yeah. Me too. But I was born in June. So it's like... I was born in April. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. All right. So what's okay. up? What's All going right. on? I know we're really mellow, but we have to get some okay. energy going. Yes. Um, okay, so what we've got going on right now, mm -hmm. the rest of the weekend, you can take advantage of our art sale. Just enter the code Vera at checkout. Right, and it's for art, yes. not for Vera services. Exactly, and that right. will give you 50% off all art prints. Mm -hmm. Great, great little art gifts. I mean art gifts. I meant Christmas gifts. Right. And then we also have the Yule Evening with Angus. That's Y-U-L-E. Mm -hmm. So, you can check out. That it's would be a good Christmas present present mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's it's awesome early christmas present i guess having an evening with yeah. angus and, and getting answers from the other side and insight mm -hmm. into our life and our past lives is just awesome mm -hmm. it's better than that so you can check that exactly. out exactly chrissy our where's website. your computer been it looks like it's been through the i was going to say something bad <laughs> <laughs> it's been through a lot yes it has but yes um what else is that it um you can check that out on our website at soulsalignment.com. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Check out our okay. website. And then we're going to start doing little mini videos to help you through the week. So that, that will start. Yeah. We started last week. Yes. So you should have gotten two more videos besides our Saturday one, right? Yep, that's yeah. right. And that was kind of goes right into one of our questions today. It sure does. Because in our last little mini video that we put out on Tuesday, I believe is mm -hmm. what it was. Or was it Monday? was that was we were having this session with angus and we asked him do you have a message for our soul tribe you know mm -hmm. all of you that are watching and that's what he was telling us about and trump and putin were in the conversation and then one of our fabulous soul tribe friends roxanne had a question about that right so i'm gonna go ahead too. and read roxanne's question and she was saying this is disturbing <laughs> because <laughs> we are looking at this light versus dark. So if dark attracted is attracted to the light at the opportunity, I'm sorry, at the opportune time to begin their plans, does that mean Trump is the light? That is definitely not what we meant um, because you know when you when you have a lost light soul and other lost light souls, they will use each other to get ahead. It's like that old saying, there's no loyalty among thieves. Right. You know what it reminds me of when I think of like Trump and Putin, they're <clears throat> like one is lower on the totem pole and the other is trying to climb up and he's smashing, you know, stepping on the other guy's head. Yeah. It's kind of like it reminds me of that. So it's not that, because when we were talking about it, remember when we were talking about in the video that um, lost light souls are attracted to the light like a moth to a light almost. Mm -hmm. And in the sense of Off like attacking, um, but yeah, no, we were definitely not saying that Putin was attracted to Trump because of his light. That was, we were referring to um, sometimes we can receive attack from um, the other, the dark realm, I guess, uh, because or even dark in lost light entities that are in life because they're attracted to our light. And not attracted in a good way. Exactly. They're coming to diminish the light. They, they Manipulate, wanted, yeah. use, definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. Blow out. But as far as he's concerned, yeah, no, but they use each other mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. There's not any, they don't have, um, they're not helping each other. No, <laughs> by all means. It's all for themselves. Mm -hmm. 
So I think we pretty much got the yeah. whole question. Yeah. So I hope that answered that. Answer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Hillary is a light soul. She is not a lost light soul. She's not a gray soul. And sometimes, you know, people have different looks on their face and it makes them look like they're not friendly or happy or it's just their face and she just happens to have that. I'm not saying that she's perfect. No one is. I'm sure there's things that she may have done that she's not proud of like we all are, but mm -hmm. she's definitely not a lost light soul by any stretch of the imagination. Right. She's just not light. Yeah, you know what's interesting too, if you look it's at... It's sad too because she's a very smart woman. Yeah, and I mean really, if we can really, really look into, into what people have done with their life. Let's just take that. She has an RBF. Look at, look at what she did when she went over to China, I believe it was. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not well schooled, but she, um, on this matter, but she did this huge empowerment for women thing back, and girls, mm -hmm. back in the 80s. Way a long time ago, yeah. And it was like, back then, it was like, um, she just. She always championed women, and exactly. I don't understand women that don't like her. She, she was really a champion for women and children. Mm -hmm. Okay, so even if people, I mean, just really but look, I, at, I look at what people are really about and what they're doing before the judgment thing. Yeah, <laughs> to say. <laughs> okay. Um, but I love the way Roxanne handled some people that were, you know, because we had, it was a little political what we talked about. And, you know, everybody is entitled to their opinion. This is just ours and what we see and what we want to, you know, put out there. It doesn't mean that we don't like people that like Trump. That's not the issue. Of course not. But we have to be respectful to each other. Otherwise, we're not going to learn anything. You know, Definitely. it's going to always be that divide. So I love the way that Roxanne put out and asked people that were saying stuff about Hillary, can you give me some facts? I really you liked know, that was her pretty, energy that about was that. That was awesome because yeah. she wasn't putting them down. No. Yeah, because you're entitled to how you want to feel, but you really should look into the facts before you, like you say, judge people. Yeah, I really liked how she respected their perspective. Right but would love to know more mm -hmm. <laughs> to have more information. Exactly. <laughs> you know, That's what, a good way to, yeah. to do. All right. Okay. Next. Next is David. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned about him having a question. It kind of comes right out of the last question that we just oh, asked. Oh, yeah. Right here. I'll, want me to go ahead and just read sure. it? Okay. All right. So David's question is, I have followed the situation in Washington extensively, and yes, Putin is a threat to America, but... I feel he's not acting alone. As Lincoln once said, no transatlantic giant will cross the ocean and crush us in a blow. Never. If destruction be our lot, then we ourselves must be its author and its finisher. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's true. But we've had somebody that has invited a transatlantic giant to come into our situation and wreak havoc. Right. So, are we going to put up our defenses? Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, kind of like I'm having this vision of the um, but it's the right. Vikings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Protect our defenses, or yeah. invite, like you just said, invite them in. Exactly. A good way to say it. So, I mean, we all have to be the ones that stop it. Right. You know, because it's going. I'm telling you guys, it's going backwards instead of forwards. So we really do have to keep ourselves. Um, privy of what's going on and don't think well I can't do anything thing about it because Sorry. you can do something about it even you know that little ripple finds its way that yeah. you may think you have no effect on anything but you do voting if you help you know or if you just uh, watch the news or whatever and try to do your best to be a, a good person then yeah. yeah you know so we all have to help each other and get out of it because otherwise we're in for a world of hurt. I'm telling you guys, I'm yeah, telling you really guys, it's do our not going to be good. Yeah. Really do our best. Like Angus says, don't try, do. Just do, yeah. Do as best or, as we can, yeah. whatever we can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Couldn't agree more It's so that. interesting the way the questions are going right into like the birthmarks and everything. It's just like synchronicity. Hi, little baby. <laughs> I love my hummingbirds. And right on cue, yeah. <laughs> Beard's got a visitor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
Our next question is from Roxanne. Roxanne. Speaking of Roxanne, okay, she was saying, I have a question. Is there Lemurian spirits being re reincarnated in these younger generations? I asked this question because how the Haka warrior dance of strength, peace, and love and war, I'm sorry, the warrior dance of strength and peace or love and war resonates with a lot of the younger generations, whether they are white, black, Asian, or all ethnic groups. Yeah, that's what I was saying. A lot of, a lot of different people that were in kind of a destruction type situation are, are coming back to help. Absolutely. Yeah, and so you know, it's really cool, you guys. If you haven't checked out the video that we did on Atlantis, check it out. It's in our it's in our playlist. You'll find mm -hmm. Atlantis there. And it was fascinating because the Lemurians were more about the intuitive and they were about the planet and the nature and that harmony. type of thing. Exactly mm -hmm. harmony. Whereas Atlantis was more into the power. That's what of, we're in now. Yes, harnessing the crystals, the power of just pushing it and pushing it and upping it and upping it. Mm -hmm. And the Lemurians tried to warn them. But it's fascinating because of what you just said about a lot of those and what and question. Civil War people are coming mm -hmm. back. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of too is like with that little gal, um, oh, a I young woman. Her. I should say young I lady. Love her. Greta Thornburg, I believe her last mm -hmm. name is Thornburg, and how it's Greta, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and it's like it's like I totally instantly thought of her when we saw that question because it's like mm -hmm. she is all about um, raising the consciousness of the you know global um, the climate um, protection and that type of thing, and so it's interesting because those warriors are coming in now, and we need and it. She is warrior like. Oh yeah, she's she had it. Is. It's like I don't blame her. I mean, enough is enough. We have all of these facts in front of us. We have heard people say certain things that are illegal. Nothing is being done. It's like, what committee? What committee? What committee? Come on. There, right. And because of a memo, people right. can't be prosecuted while they're in. in come on. I know. That's not it's the way just, it's supposed to be. It's like these little fine print details yeah, or yeah. something. Um, yeah, because I even saw something she had said, like, you know, don't thank me for, don't just say, oh, we're inspiring. Uh, I mean, yeah. we're being inspired to do enough. something. Yeah. yeah. And then, oh, good old Trump said, oh, what a happy young woman she looks. You know, because she was upset. Right. And, you know, you don't have to put people down like that. She's trying well, to help the. Yeah. yeah. Look who it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just well, so. Yeah. But yeah, no, I completely agree. But that just shows who this person yeah, is. Yeah. I mean, he shows it all the time. Yeah. That's our opinion. Oh, yeah. Just our You're opinion. entitled to yours. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be so judgmental. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but we're open to but other things. Exactly. I'm just... Give us facts. Right. Show us the truth. Now that everything is muddled and nobody knows what the truth is because certain people say, oh, that's fake. Right. And it's not, you know. Hi, little buddy. She won't use her arms anymore. <laughs> Good luck on that. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> That was the hummingbird again. Okay. Next. Next is Jess Smith. Jess Smith has a question. Oh, gosh. I yes. forgot about that one. Okay. okay, Jess. We have your question right here. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So Jess is saying, that will be interesting. Is it the other side traveling? So they were asking about when... She's asking if yeah, they come to us or we go to them. She's, yeah, exactly. During mm -hmm. dream time, when we're traveling, like to say to see our loved ones, do they come to us? Or do we go to them on the other side? Because she was saying that she would like to think that when she's asleep, she goes to them the most. But I'm just not allowed to remember. Well, you're allowed to remember. It's just we get so excited we forget. But you'll be able to remember, remember if you keep at it and ask yourself before you fall asleep that you want to remember your dreams or your astral travel or whatever it is. And you'll eventually get it. Just be patient. Yeah. It's interesting because, um, yeah, they come here to visit us, like we and were that's saying. that's okay. But we also go there to the other side mm -hmm. to visit them. And our angels help to pull us out of our body. And actually, it's the guardian angel I'm going to show you really quick. 
your guardian angels are the ones that help to pull you out of your body when you travel to the other side to go visit whether it's your loved ones from this life or other lifetimes that you know there there he is guardian angel my interpretation anyway one interpretation got more to do <laughs> anyways um but it's not that, like Vera said, it's not that we're not allowed to remember. It's just that being in this negative plane mm -hmm. and coming back through this veil, it's just a condition of being here that we just don't remember. So it's not that anybody doesn't want us to remember mm -hmm. or that we don't ourselves want to remember. It's just that we have to work on remembering. It's kind of tough sometimes, yeah, <laughs> but it doesn't yeah. have to be. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. And you know what I wanted to tell you too? It was really fascinating. Um, uh, Angus was talking about that we all that we have in different places where your soul tribe is because we all have a soul tribe of the like our close circle our, our close friends and family and loved mm -hmm. ones so on the other side you have a place it's like a way station that when we go home we go through this like way station to the other side and then we're there to yeah. go visit so it's fascinating it's like You'd think, oh, you just pop up here, or you pop up there, but he was saying that we have this one particular place that we go through mm -hmm. as individual kind of groups. So I thought oh, that's pretty interesting, huh? Yeah. Can I share your experience? I really want to. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I'm so sorry. I got so earthquake. Okay. Cancel that. All right, you guys. Okay. So this is a really cool experience. Okay. okay. One and only time this happened. Okay. I had the stream. I had a dream. And there was this beautiful woman that was laying there. I was lying down. Uh -huh. Like lying, but lying up like how we're like this. Mm -hmm. And she was saying, can you see us? Can you see us? And then it was like, then she started smiling. Because I guess she could see that I could see them. And she left the room. And then Angus came in. And, and when was, was this? This was like a couple years ago. And when like and he was there and we were oh. talking. Okay. And then it was like real quick, and then I came back. And when I asked him about it in the session, he said it was a gift that I remembered. And I and that's when I was asking him about the uh, that a place where I go, and he was telling me that that's like the way station. So it was fascinating because it was almost like I felt like I was sleeping there or something. And she was trying to help me to come into my body there. Yeah. And that's it, so cool. And it, I was just really, I really wanted to share it because he was seeing that that's how we go there. Yeah. And it was really cool. I never knew that we had a way station. Yeah. That we, we have like so much stuff through. we don't remember, huh? Yeah. We have to go through our files. And it was a trip because it was like our angels really help us to get there. Because yeah. she's like, can you see us? Can you? And then it was like, yeah. uh, finally I was able to to be there, there, exactly. instead of just, I guess, asleep there Oops, or something. Sorry. But yeah. it's just something to like, think about it's just like it was really cool yeah it's so very you cool when you get when you remember it's just amazing it's never happened to me like that yeah so that actual going part yeah so i just really wanted to yeah that is exciting too when yeah. you do that and you guys can have your ask your angel to help you remember have them put their finger right here because that's what angus did for you mm -hmm. to help you remember because you saw him and when you were on the other side in dream time. I remember you saying, mm -hmm. and he put his finger here and he goes, you're gonna remember. And then you did. did. I did, so and you that's, for me to remember, yes. Right there, <laughs> yeah. third eye chakra. So yeah. you, as you're going to sleep, you can visualize the angel that we just showed you. And uh, you can even do it in meditation. Visualize mm -hmm. him taking your hand and taking you to the other side to see your loved ones yeah. and, t and ask them to help you remember. Push right there. Very cool. I'm going to go around doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all know what it means. Yes, really. Yeah. So we have some really cool birthmarks yeah, to get into. Are you fun. all ready? I'm ready. Okay, you guys ready? Okay. Who do you want to start off with, Vera? We I have, have Shannon Frazier okay. first. Okay, so I'm going to read her question. Here we go. It's kind of a two-part because, oh, sorry, you guys, I keep yawning. That's okay. I know, but it's not like I'm. I'm not bored. I'm just relaxing and I had a really fun week so I'm kind of recouping. Do you want to share with I everybody? got to babysit. <laughs> I got to babysit AJ. So, she's adorable. Oh my god. Yeah, she is adorable. She is adorable. Yeah. A cutie. Yeah. Homie. Yeah. Homie. <laughs> I'm going, oh my back. 
but I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Kids keep it real, don't oh they? Oh my gosh. They, yeah. they remind us of what's important. Yeah. Okay, you All guys, right. here we go. Okay, so Shannon, Shannon Frazier. Frazier. Okay, Shannon's question. Mm -hmm. I have a birthmark on my thigh. It's an oval shape and it's rigid around it. Okay, and what I got for Shannon is that it's, it was a First Nation life. So was that Canada or something like that? It's not in America, it's Canada, I believe, Na First Nation. God, I have somebody sorry in my eyeball. But uh, yeah, she was uh, actually a he in that lifetime. And I, she was a he in the other lifetime that was part one, so it was over there. But anyway, um, so she was. Uh, she went out to a vision quest. She had to do a vision oh, quest. Oh, right, right. She was male, though. And she, uh, he got to a point, I don't know how long they stay out there, but he wasn't, a she wasn't able, Shannon wasn't able to get food. She wasn't able to find food or anything, and she was getting really, she slash he was getting very oh weak. Oh, no, it's low battery. But oh it's still no, going. It's still going. Okay, um, so I'll hurry. Okay, and then. Well, you know what? You keep talking. I'm going to take that microphone off and plug this in. Just okay. keep on going. Right. The show must go on. It must. So she went out for a vision quest, Shannon He in that past life, and was kind of like on thinking, I'm just not being able to do this. I don't know if I can do it. But her totem in that past life was an eagle. Eagle was her totem. Okay. And eagle or hawk? It was a bird. And um, when he woke up the next morning, and uh -huh. went, you know, I was thinking, God, I don't know how I woke up, kind of thing. Uh huh. There was an egg right next to his. God, I'm so sorry, you guys. An egg was right next to his leg. And that's oh, how he had his. Oh my gosh. Chili Willies or what? That is like totally really is cool. That too cool. I am yeah. like blown away right now. Yeah. How so cool is that? That was a reminder of how to manifest. I would love that egg. I'd be like, <laughs> I know, but he, he ate it. Oh, <laughs> because they needed nourishment of to keep going. That was a gift. I guess yeah. that was. <laughs> Holy egg. <laughs> no, he, he ate it. And, but it was a gift, you know, so yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that was really important. So that was your <laughs> reminder, that oval, of how you were able to manifest Man, what you need. that is cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was picturing, like, this treasure. Oh, oh I'm going to keep it forever. <laughs> it's like breakfast. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Maybe hey, you kept the shell, but... <laughs> that <laughs> is cool, though. Because yeah. it's like, was that was that his totem? Yes. Her, mm -hmm. his, that mm -hmm. life. That is, is that cool? super neat, yeah. All right, so uh, okay. next. All right, so next. Let me just oh, gosh. pop okay. off of this little part there. All right, you ready for, who do you want to do next, Jessica or Sarah? Sarah Jane. Okay, you guys, here I we go. I love your middle name. Yes. Okay. Sarah All right, Jane. here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm a new subscriber. I was wondering, and thank you for and subscribing. Welcome. Yeah. I love you. I was wondering if you would be able to help me figure out what my birthmark means. My biggest birthmark is a dolphin-shaped birthmark just below my ribs, but more in the center of my stomach. And the strange thing is that I cannot bear to be touched anywhere near the birthmark. It's extremely sensitive and makes me flinch automatically. I also have a red birthmark at the very base of my back. And me and my son both have a mole in the exact same spot on the right side of our mid back. Could you help me figure these out, please? Thank you. Okay. Well, I what I um, got for you, Sarah, is that it was a Lemurian life, and Dalton was your totem. So, Dalt, you actually your job in Lemuria was to um, see how the dolphins lived, how they worked, and how they helped us because it was an integral part, so we helped them, they helped us kind of thing. So that was her job, is to, oh, not just dolphins, but that was your favorite, it was sea life, to maintain the sea life and see how, you know, what they needed and how the sea life gave them food, that kind of stuff. So it was something just to maintain and to learn and to be around. And her, uh, the thing was though with, she actually swam with, with the dolphins too, 
studied them. Wow. She, I could see her with the whales and everything. And then um, she had her favorite one. And it, she, this was right at the end of Lemuria. Uh huh. When it was the water was coming. Okay. You know the the end end where the island just went wow. under. Yeah. So your dolphin was trying to help you to get back on land, thinking Aww. he could save you. Like he tried to, like went underneath her and pushed her and tried to get her on land, but it was Aww, so too late. Cute. It was the end was coming. So, that but it was so a, he was trying to though. save her. Yeah. So her that is a reminder about the unconditional love that we see from animals and mammals and sea life and all that stuff. I want to hug her dolphin. I know. <laughs> it's so awesome. That is so but how amazing. amazing they are. And people don't, they just don't treat animals is, right or you see like mean, anything. Dolphins are amazing. I've seen and they've stories done so of them helping, helping people. And yes. Just, helping Aww. people from getting sharks, you know, yes. shark bites and all that and other stuff. and. Yeah, they're amazing. Wow. So that was that was why you have that. That is so cute. That is so yeah. super neat. So the dolphin is that that's your that's your dolphin. And then your son was in that life with you in Lemuria. So that's wow. why you have the same birthmark. Wow. Yeah. Because you guys had um, you had something back there too that you guys that we would tattoo back there for some reason. I don't know what it was. And it was for different things for different situations that we were in. Like we belong to or something. I see. Yeah, and hers, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So that's what they did. So that's why you were connected yeah. with him with the birthmark and all that. That's so amazing because we were just talking about Lemurians coming yeah. in. She's here right now for a reason, for sure. Her exactly. Son. Yeah. Yep. See, that's what Roxanne was. It Roxanne that brought that up. Somebody did. Uh, yes, it was. All right. Next, Jessica. Mm -hmm. Did we already do her? Nope. You ready for her? Yes. Next? And I okay. think, I thought I did her before, but if that doesn't sound right, I thought I answered a question for her before, but I think it was some, for somebody else, but it's kind of interesting. Go ahead. Okay, you guys, here we go. Jessica Brennan, I found your channel on my own search. I was born with a perfect crescent moon birthmark on my foot. Any ideas? Okay, for that one, she had like three lives with, that had to do with the crescent moon too. But this one, is um, this one is that you belong to a secret society and within that secret society um, uh, people were invited in somehow I don't know I don't know if it's like the Masons I don't know if they had it back then but it was kind of like that kind of a secret society but for some reason they weren't allowing people of color in and things like that so what you did was so you dumb. worked through it because you had invited, he had, I think it's an invitation kind of thing, but they have to go through something or something to Some be able to get in. Initiation. Yeah, to get in. But she actually brought this person in and they were, I believe it's like Muslim or I don't know, something like that. And they were told that they could, she was told that they could not come in. So she did something she made some waves and she got something going and she was they had to they had to allow people in so that awesome. was awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's your uh, high five fist bump <laughs> that's your reminder is how you help people you know to to be included that's awesome yeah. so yeah that was perfect good job yeah so these are kind of amazing a, ones that's a great that story they aren't, heck they yeah are. yeah that's what we need, good stories like that, yeah. good examples, mm -hmm. and that strength that they're bringing into this lifetime. Right? They're here she for fought a reason. for injustice. Yeah. Heck yeah, we need, we need her now. We need you all. <laughs> for, for sure. sure. <laughs> Excellent. Vera, was there anything else that you wanted to tell our friend? Um, I think that's it. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us today. Very beautiful day. Can't it wait to is. see you next weekend. Next weekend I keep is kicking you. Next weekend is the is the last week before our first evening with Angus. I'm very yeah. excited to see uh, some of our friends there in yeah. person. I can't yeah. wait for us to all get together. Love to share yeah. stories. And just a reminder <laughs> about Kathy Vasquez and the oh, GoFundMe. Yeah. If you guys can please, you know, give something. It's on Facebook. 
uh, and under my account, I believe. I think it's public though. But you can look under Beer Espana or Facebook your... for Kathy Vasquez. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I appreciate it. And we got some donations from last time. So Aww. thank you so much. Yeah. So this is like a new kind of, uh, I guess, procedure that this man is trying to do. And it is also Western medicine, but he's also including Eastern medicine in it. See, now that's So that excellent. she's really that's thinking great. this is going to help her. So... You know, I really want to be able to help her at least, you know, stop the the, the, the loss of her eyesight. Right. Yeah. To to stop it from getting, getting worse. worse. Yeah. 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 So Sounds good. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You know, people are amazing. And we hear all the time how bad people are, but we're awesome as humans. Thank you very much. Yeah. We are. We, they, we, we have good people that help. You know? Exactly, it's our calling. Yeah, and you know that's kind of it's funny that you that we started off the uh, the video today talking about the question about lost light souls. Mm -hmm. uh, their calling is to bring people down to have depower it. them, wreak havoc, and have power over them. But our calling is to empower each other, to bring light into the world, to help each other feel good, to help each other up, and like protect people Kathy from and the world and mm -hmm. the dolphins out there yeah and the hummingbirds <laughs> over yeah. there <laughs> so, lots of love and light going yes. out to you all we love you thank you for everything and we'll see you next week bye that's what amelia says bye